What's up guys? It's Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com uh, here for Tarantula Tuesday. Um, this channel puts out videos every single Tuesday um, regarding tarantula facts, things about tarantulas, fun things I observe about my tarantulas, and I do apologize um, that the star of the show, Spidey, my G. Rosea, is hiding in the back of her tank right now. But um, if you are into tarantula stuff, consider subscribing if you are a first time visitor to this channel. Um, but anyway, today I'm going to talk about something that gets me really, really heated, and I think it's going to get you guys really, really heated too. Um, that is tarantula prank videos. I didn't know this was a real thing, but it is. Um, and so as a disclaimer, I'm not making this video to send hate to anybody who's made a prank video like this. I don't want <laughs> to send people um, to attack people or anything like that. It's just that this is something that I think needs to stop. I recently discovered that it was a thing and it was really, really disturbing to me. And um, I hope that this information gets out there and kind of discourages more of this. In case somebody does one day stumble upon this video who thinks that pranks like this are funny, perhaps it'll give you a different perspective. And that's my hope because I personally do not think it's funny and I don't think any of you viewers on this channel, you guys, will think that it's funny either. So when I see prank videos involving insects and things like that, generally um, what I'd seen in the past was that it was done with a fake animal. Um, so like a plastic spider or a plastic cockroach or something like that and it's kind of like this stupid immature thing like haha it's so funny you scared me. Um, but I recently stumbled upon a video that actually used a live tarantula and it disturbed me so much that I really wanted to write about it and make a video about it to like calm myself. The video that I came across um, was something that Jake Paul had made. He's a very popular YouTuber. In case you don't know him, most people do for in one way or another. We all know Jake Paul, and he made a tarantula prank video. I am not a Jake Paul fan. However, he is a YouTuber that a lot of the kids I provide therapy to at my day job watch and admire and talk about. So occasionally, I like to pop up on his channel just to see what he's doing, um, if they've mentioned something to me, because I like to kind of be in touch with their world. Saw the tarantula prank video and it led me down a terrible rabbit hole of other tarantula prank videos. And to Jake Paul's credit, the tarantula videos that I found once I started going down that rabbit hole were even worse. So um, I got way more than I bargained for and I was like left totally emotionally disturbed from the whole thing. So fortunately, the actual prank part of Jake Paul's video did not use an actual tarantula. In the video, um, there is a guy holding a tarantula that's live, um, present, and they do show several clips of this live tarantula. Um, it does look like the tarantula is being put in unsafe situations because there's a lot of people around, a lot of action around. I'm sure that this could have been very scary for the tarantula, but the live tarantula was not actually involved in the prank and in the video they were sneaking up on people with the fake tarantula like throwing it at people or whatever um i can definitely appreciate that but they did use this live tarantula in other parts of the video that looked very very like irresponsible unsafe care particularly around people that are terrified of it and like jake paul and his crew are known for outlandish behavior so you know that there was a lot of running around things that could have gone wrong in that situation and you know they tend to do things for views too so i would never put an animal in that kind of situation especially an animal like that like a tarantula i thought in my eyes that tarantula keeper that was handling the tarantula as well as jake paul and everybody involved i thought that was really really irresponsible of them um for this tarantula keeper or whoever it was that was putting this tarantula in this situation likely knew that jake paul and his crew um what they're like what they're about it's all like action and pranks and doing things like that so um, likely knew that the environment that he was putting this animal in was going to be incredibly unpredictable, fast-paced, definitely not suitable for a creature like a tarantula who needs a very stable environment. Um, but I will say that Jake Paul's video was like far from the worst. Like, guy had enough common sense to not use the real tarantula 
um, for the prank. Um, and I definitely appreciate that because what I ended up coming across was like way worse when I went down that rabbit hole. So after that video, <laughs> I stumbled upon another video um, and I wish I could unsee it. I wish I could unsee all of them, to be honest with you. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to say this name right, but the video was by Diara, Diara and Ken for Life. This is the YouTube channel's name. And it was a real wildly irresponsible and dangerous stunt for both the humans and the tarantulas. Um, I just felt so terrible that this animal was subjected to this and put in this situation. And I, I feel mixed about this, but so I do have a blog post in the description below where um, you, like all these videos are listed, Jake Paul's videos and all these other videos are listed. And I really, I didn't know if I should put the videos because I didn't want to give them more views and I also um, didn't want them to be attacked either despite how wrong I think this is. Um, I don't know, I just don't really like that whole thing about YouTube and that side of YouTube but um, where it like just perpetuates hate and bad behavior but um, I think it's important for you to know exactly what I'm talking about and just how terrible this behavior is. So um, I have included that in the blog post below. So if you are curious to know exactly what I'm talking about, you know, I'm going to describe it in the video, but um, you can go to that blog post. But anyway, so in this video um, by Diara and Ken for Life, um, Ken blindfolds his girlfriend. I think she's his girlfriend. I've never watched these people before. Um, and then places a live tarantula on her stomach. Um, so she's blindfolded. And like this was so, like this tarantula could have died. Like, this is insane. This was such a irresponsible prank and I'm really surprised and I feel blessed for that tarantula that it, it wasn't injured in this video. Naturally, when she feels the tarantula on her stomach and the blindfold is taken off, she freaks out. She runs away and throws the live tarantula off of her. Like that was a live animal. And I don't think it was her fault either. I think that instincts took over. She's probably somebody who's really terrified of spiders naturally. And he knew that and he preyed upon that. Um, I think that it is abusive to do to somebody who's afraid of tarantulas or any kind of animal to subject them to that kind of thing wildly insensitive to both her and the tarantula. I do not blame her for her reaction at all. You know, I don't know what kind of guy Ken is, but if any of my lady clients came and said she was dating a guy like this, I would tell her to run away from him, not the spider. <laughs> but anyway, so it gets worse. So he, she throws the spider off, runs away, he's screaming. Um, he picks up the spider he probably doesn't know how to pick up a tarantula at all. So I'm sure he's doing this very clumsily. And he proceeds to chase her around the house with it. Um, I can't think of a more cruel thing to do to an animal and a person in this situation. It This was such a sad video to watch. So disappointing, like for a human, <laughs> like that there are people in the world like this who are so insensitive and will just do this for views or because they think it's funny there's nothing in there that i think is funny um so that was the worst um there are other videos like that too um it's just really sad this needs to stop and so that was definitely the worst but there were others like you know people trapping their girlfriends in bathrooms with live tarantulas um it's just it's disgusting I put a, the other few like stunts in, in that blog post too, just so you guys could watch it. But, um, you know, just be aware that you're probably going to feel angry because you love these creatures. But like, I think as just a human, this is just not a way that we should treat each other or the creatures in the world. Like, I don't know. I feel like when we use things as like pawns for our own pleasure, our own amusement, it's just, it's really disgusting. Um, we really need to like rethink our values and where we are in our lives if we think that this kind of stuff is humorous. I really, I, I honestly, I don't think that this stuff should be allowed on YouTube. Like if someone had done something similar to like a dog or cat, we all know that these videos wouldn't be up and that there would be some sort of repercussion. But unfortunately, um, 
if you look at the comments in these videos, there's a lot of people who think it's actually really funny and that also really disgusts me too. Um, this is obviously wildly irresponsible and unsafe for the animal and I think it's really cruel to the people who are victims of these pranks. Like there are people who are arachnophobic and they deserve to be respected. And I think that's why the tarantula hobby gets such a bad reputation is because of, not because of tarantula owners and people who are actually responsible in the care and respect for these animals, but like people who are idiotic and they do things like that. Like those kind of stunts only perpetuate fear of a creature that doesn't need to be feared. And it really, encourages a toxic culture where non-mainstream animals like tarantulas continue to be exploited and abused. I am completely against any and all tarantula pranks, even ones that involve molts, because I really think that it is cruel to subject others to things that like they're deathly afraid of. And if we want our pets to be respected, then we have to like respect others as well. And that's just my thing about it. Um, but of course I do think that using a live animal is just taking it way too far. These tarantulas honestly could have been killed. I'm honestly surprised that they weren't. I'm thankful that they weren't, but I wouldn't be surprised if any of them walked away from this terrible thing with like a terrible injury or something like that. I'm honestly not sure what to do. I'm still really upset about it. I don't want to encourage any bad comments coming to these YouTubers or anything like that. Um, I don't wish any ill upon them. I just wish that people would be more responsible about this stuff. And I, I also wish that in some way there was something that I could do to discourage these videos from being um, created or shared. Um, what do you guys think? Like what, what do you think would be reasonable or useful um, as far as the ethical treatment of tarantulas? Would a petition to get these videos kind of either removed? You know, I don't, I mean, some of these YouTubers are so big that I don't I don't think that my little channel can do anything to Jake Paul or anything and I wouldn't want to but just you know I want people to know that it's not okay to do these kind of pranks like I said if this was a cat or a dog um it would be game over like that wouldn't be allowed that would be a violation of YouTube guidelines so I don't know I don't really know what to do I guess I just wanted to share my feelings about it um, get some feedback and connect with you guys about it because um, I was very shaken by it and it makes me really sad that um, either YouTube or a lot of people don't care about creatures like tarantulas you know they're still living things even if you don't care even if they're not your favorite animal um, these creatures were made to suffer and were exploited and put in really abusive, terrible situations and other people's rights were not respected. They were terrified by these stupid pranks. And I just think it's like so, so terrible that we have a culture that just likes this kind of stuff sometimes. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. This is kind of a different video and kind of feel all sorts of like icky about it because this is just not the kind of stuff that I like to get in involved in or talk about, um, like to talk about happier tarantula things. But there are definitely like really gross things that happen in our society when we're thinking about um, the stigma against these creatures. So let me know what you guys think. You guys are super interesting in your comments and insightful. So I'd be interested to just to continue this discussion. Anyway, guys, I hope that you are doing well. Um, please watch a funny, lighthearted video after this. Um, I am certainly going to do that. <laughs> um, and I hope that the rest of your week is wonderful. And I'll see you next week with hopefully a more light topic. <laughs> Bye, guys.